Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to create a remote desktop configuration policy in Intune. So let's get started. Here I'm in Microsoft Intune. You got to go to portal.azure.com and it should give you an options to to get to Intune. So on my dashboard here, I have Intune created as a shortcut. If you don't have a shortcut created, you can search for Intune here and it should come up. So here I'm in Intune. To create a remote desktop policy configuration, you, you have to go into um, device configuration here and then create a profiles. Click on profiles. Click create pro, uh, create profiles. You're gonna over here. You're gonna choose the whatever the language or the uh, platform you want to create the policy for. I'm going to do it on Windows 10 or later. And um, you're gonna select the administrator templates, and then click on create. So I'm going to call this remote desktop Windows 10 policy. Remote desktop configuration, it's called configuration. Con Configuration Windows 10 policy. So the description, uh, you can put anything you want here. I'm going to click next. And you need to go into the configuration, uh, computer configuration. And under computer configuration goes to Windows component. Let me expand this a little bit. Under Windows component, go to remote desktop service. And here is the remote desktop connection client. There's a few options available. You can configure remote desktop session host or configure the device resource redirect securities. For this policy, I'm going to create a remote desktop client and do not allow password to be saved. You can enable whatever whatever the policy you want to be uh, configured I'm going to click OK and if I want to go into connect, uh, remote desktop host session host allow user to connect remotely using remote desktop I'm going to enable again so I got two settings enabled for remote desktop Let's go back here to see if it's still there. There is still save and go back to connection. It is save. Now, next, I'm going to click next. Uh, scope tag, there's no scope tag. I'm going to click next. The assignment, I'm not going to deploy at this time, but you have an options to deploy to all users, all devices, and or all user and all devices or you can select the groups to to include just say if you have a security groups you can select security groups here's my security group into and test so I'm not going to deploy this um, configuration at this time but that's you get the idea that's how you um, create the the policy and if you want to exclude any 
groups you can select groups to exclude here and then click next the summary page is going to tell you this is what you're going to change you want to make sure this is this is what you want but if it's not you can go back by click on previous screen and go back and make the change or you can change it later I'm going to click create as you can see the Windows 10 uh, remote desktop configuration Windows 10 policy has been created oops let me go back to the okay here it is and as as of right now it's not it's not assigned I mean it's not deployed and if I want to to delete I can just click on the three ellipses and click on delete and if I want to modify I can just click on the the profiles and I can go to the properties and make changes and make, cha make changes to the the configurations and once I deploy it I can see the the device status where the um, the policies are deployed to and also per user settings and per settings status so that's it thank you for watching if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and have a good day